We're all just so relieved that she's okay. The search tonight is over for a missing Cincinnati teen who was gone at the Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. But the impact of her disappearance made on those who were with her will not be forgotten. Thank you for joining us here at 11. Fauna Jackson was found today just a few miles from where she vanished. And for the first time tonight, we are hearing from one of the team leaders who was with Jackson. He spoke to our Roseanne Aragon just a bit ago. She joins us live now from Northside. Roseanne. She was found looking different than when she vanished. Fauna Jackson was working with this group, Groundwork Cincinnati and Groundwork USA, a group dedicated on working on environmental and conservation issues. She was actually one of a small group that was chosen to go on this trip, but supervisors didn't think she'd go missing. By all accounts, which would be uh, myself and the staff, the other youth, her social media, she was having the time of her life. She was thriving. Groundwork Cincinnati and Groundwork USA leaders are still wondering how and why their student leader, Cincinnati native 16 year old Fauna Jackson, went missing. The environmental group took a select few student leaders to do work at this park in Wyoming. Blazing New Trail in Grand Teton National Park, which everybody was really excited about. Fauna indicated that she had to go to the bathroom, so we told everyone to stay within uh, earshot and eyesight. She was about 25, 35 feet away, walking behind some brush or trees to use the bathroom, and that was it. That was Thursday morning. Myself and the other crew leaders internally were panicking, but externally we were doing all the right things. For two days, more than 100 members of the National Park Service, the FBI, the U.S. Forest Service, and other agencies looked with no signs but a boot, which she wasn't wearing when she vanished. Supervisor Tanner Yes made the grueling decision to make the trip back to Cincinnati. One student short. Uncomfortable. It, it felt like the opposite thing that we should be doing. But of course, I had to bring our other youth home because their parents were worried. But this morning, she was found about three to four miles from where she was last seen. She was fine. Walked around for a little while, did some screaming or shouting audibly, um, then got extremely tired. But signs showed she may not have wanted to be found. Park rangers say the sophomore at Clark Montessori High School had cut her hair and dyed it and was wearing different clothes. She also apparently ran away when law enforcement officials tried to approach her. There are a lot of questions still to be answered, but that's all we know. Yes says she's coming home. So everybody's prayers and hearts were with them are now happy that she's been found and now continue to be with them through whatever they're going to go through in the future. Yes tells me her parents are on the way to go get her. She's at the Teton, Teton County Sheriff's Office, and they say they're treating it like any other runaway, but it's unclear if or what disciplinary action will be taken. These leaders are just happy that she's okay. Reporting live, Roseanne Aragon, 9 on your side.